like lip gloss and for real popping. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hi, welcome. <laughs> um, look at my shirt. It say, what it say, my mom? It says, happiness is making slime. And my mom don't like slime anymore. No, I do not like slime <laughs> at all. And the reasons why I don't like slime... Because it gets everywhere. It ends up everywhere. KB tends to play with slime in every room of the house and manages to get it on things unimaginable. And it's very hard to get out if you're a mommy or daddy you know, or really any adult who is well known in the slime category here that we're talking about. They know how difficult it is to get it out. I did, however, find that vinegar and baking soda sometimes gets it out, so I appreciated that tip. KB actually got slime stuck in her hair two weeks ago. <laughs> slime in her hair. <laughs> How? No clue. We were able to get it out, though, with about a cup of extra, extra virgin olive oil and about three shampoo washes. It was a mess. I'm missing. <laughs> But thank you for tuning in. This is Bedtime <laughs> Stories with KB, and my name is Nikki Moon. Why is it tuning? Tuning in? Tuning into our channel? <laughs> we hope you guys are having a great evening, and we hope you guys have sweet dreams. Tonight's story is a little golden book story. It's called The New Puppy. New Puppy. New Puppy. I'm missing. And this is by Kathleen Daly. You want to come up here and look at the pages? Look at this cute little puppy. Oh my goodness. So cute. I think. The Almost as cute as you, KB. I think I'm going to name it. Um, dot it. Dot. Dot? You yeah. think? No, Dot. You think this puppy's name is Dot? Yeah, Dot. Well, let's see. Johnny has a brand new puppy. I will call you Spot, says Johnny, I mean, right. Spot. <laughs> for he knows that all puppies have names. Johnny and Spot are going to be friends and have lots of fun together. Aww. Spot is small and he is not very happy. He has just left seven brothers and sisters and his mother's safe, warm side. So Johnny strokes him gently and talks to him quietly. He doesn't hug him or squeeze him or shout or run about. That would frighten Spot. Spot is a puppy. He isn't big and strong yet. This is the way Johnny picks up his puppy so the puppy won't get hurt. One hand under Spot's back legs, the other hand under his chest. I missed you again. Poor Spot. It is his first night at his new home, and he is frightened. He cries a little. Mm. Spot wishes that he were back with his seven brothers and sisters and his safe, warm mother. Johnny puts a warm bottle under Spot's blanket. He places a ticking clock nearby. Now Spot feels warm, and he hears the friendly tick-tock of the clock. He feels better. He doesn't cry anymore. He falls asleep instead. Aww. It's like you him find the puppy and just get killed. Yeah. He's not gonna kill the puppy. He's taking good care of his puppy. Mm -hmm. Johnny's mother shows Johnny how to make Spot's meals. Spot has a special dish all of his own and a special place for eating. Spot likes to be left alone when he's eating. When Spot has finished eating, Johnny takes up his dish and cleans it. He leaves a dish of clean water in Spot's special eating place. Spot soon gets to know that it will always be there, full of fresh, clean water to drink. That looks like a little dog named Penny and me. Yeah, we have a little doggy. And um, her not like to do that stuff either. Oh. Yeah, we have a little Maltese her doggy named Penny Lane. Her do the same thing I do. Yeah. Can, sometimes they do it on their own. Mm -hmm. Spot is a baby and has lots to learn. Most important lesson of all is to be clean. Johnny will teach him. He will, 
housebreak his dog. So when an owner teaches his new puppy to use the potty outside, that is called housebreaking your, your puppy. No, says Johnny, and he takes Spot outside. Johnny must put Spot outside or in his litter box right after every meal. No, says Johnny, when Spot jumps on the chair, the place for a good puppy is on the floor. No is a word that Spot quickly learns. He knows by the way that Johnny says it that he is not pleased. Learning no is a puppy's first lesson. He hears it often at first. Well, that's how you have to teach your puppy, right? Yeah, because when, when our say, when our, when I get older and older and older, her kid won't, her won't know what to do. Right, when he I won't say, use the potty inside. And when they're saying no, her won't understand. As a puppy or when it gets older? When it's a puppy. Yeah. No, says Johnny, when Spot jumps up to meet him. Johnny is glad that Spot is pleased to see him, but one day Spot may have muddy paws and jump on somebody's clean dress. So Spot must learn no to all jumping up. To stop him, Johnny quickly drops down to where Spot is and says, hello. When Spot is older, if he still jumps up, Johnny will quickly put up his knee to meet Spot's chest. No, it won't hurt, but Spot won't like it and will soon stop jumping up. KB, are you looking at the pages? <laughs> no, says Johnny when Spot chews Daddy's good slipper. Johnny whacks him, not very hard, with a rolled up newspaper, never with his hand. A hand is for petting. Spot chews because he wants to have good strong teeth, so Johnny gives him a toy of his own. And Daddy tries to remember to put his slippers where Spot won't find them. No, says Johnny when Spot keeps on barking. Spot barks because he is a puppy and likes to make a noise. Spot barks because he thinks he is looking after Johnny by scaring people away. We know about that, don't we? Our Penny Lane does that all the time. She's about four pounds, but she thinks she's a hundred pounds sometimes. But the neighbors don't like noisy puppies. So no, says Johnny, when he has to let Spot bark a few times. Oh, Johnny says no when he has let Spot bark a few times. So sometimes when we let Penny Lane outside, she'll see like a squirrel or something in the backyard and she'll just bark and bark and bark and she doesn't want to use the potty when she goes outside. So we have to just go out there and make sure she does use the potty and just let her know, hey, you need to go use a potty, Penny. Don't keep barking because our neighbors, they don't like a lot of barking either. We actually have a big dog that's, that lives close to us and the owner lets it out really really early in the morning for I would say about two hours every morning and the big dog just barks and barks and barks and it's so annoying and it's it's sad because it's cold here now where we live and the doggy is outside for two hours barking and barking it just breaks our heart right no it's I love puppies and animals yeah we love puppies and animals but for that owner to let the doggy out for two hours barking is mean, isn't it? Yeah. Or, but probably the puppy's awake now. <laughs> Soon Spot is old enough to learn some more lessons. Johnny puts a leash around Spot's neck. He lets Spot drag the leash around for a whole day so the puppy can get used to it. Then the lesson begins. Come, says Johnny. Come is a new word for Spot. He decides to sit down and think about it. Come, says Johnny. He doesn't try to drag the puppy. Instead, he pulls quickly on the leash when he says come. When at last Spot comes, Johnny strokes his head and says, good dog, in a very pleased voice. And here you can see the little leash. Spot has learned no and come. Now he is ready to learn another new word. Sit, says Johnny, 
and he presses down gently on Spot's back. When he takes his hand away, Spot pops up like a jack-in-the-box. But Johnny keeps saying, sit, and he presses down gently. At last, Spot understands. Then, good dog. Good, good dog, says Johnny, very pleased. Lessons are hard work for puppies and boys, so Johnny keeps the lessons very short. After the lesson, Spot and Johnny romp and play games together. Johnny knows some good games like tug of war and throwing sticks for Spot to catch or fetch. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I love Mickey. Oh, I love you, KB. I love you more. Well, you know how I am. <laughs> Johnny is a good teacher. He uses short, easy words and always the same ones. Instead of stop it, Spot, you naughty bad puppy, Johnny always says no when Spot is being naughty. Instead of here, Spot, come here quickly, boy, Johnny always says come. And when Spot does what Johnny tells him, Johnny always remembers to say good dog and to let his dog know that he is pleased. Spot wants to please Johnny, but too many lessons are hard to remember. So Johnny teaches Spot the same lesson over and over until Spot can do it easily. It's just like us when we actually learn something new for the first time. It, it could take us a couple of times to learn how to get it, right? Yeah. And guess what? I'm Penny Lane and my dad and Mickey Moon and KB. Oh. I love them. I love KB. I love your name's KB. <laughs> I'm KB now. <laughs> now that you are such a smart puppy, I shall take you for a walk in the park, says Johnny. But when they get outside, Spot thinks that he is going to take Johnny for a walk. Heel, says Johnny. He pulls Spot close and keeps the leash short. When Spot pulls away, Johnny jerks him back hard and says, Heel. It takes a long time for Spot to learn a new word. To make him feel better, Johnny stops sometimes and says, Sit. Spot knows sit. And he sits nicely. Good dog, says Johnny. Then they start walking again. Heel, says Johnny, making the leash short. Soon, Spot will learn. When lessons are over, Johnny talks to Spot all the time. Johnny tells his dog everything. Of course, Spot can't understand words but he likes the sound of Johnny's voice and he can tell how Johnny is feeling. If Johnny is sad, Spot is sad too. And if Johnny is glad, Spot is the happiest puppy in the world because Johnny and Spot are friends. Yeah, they're more friends. Aww. Um, friends cause they're friends. Yeah. Um, friends little... Get up here so they can see you. We can't even see you, KB, you're way over there. So our, our little doggy, Penny Lane, she knows exactly when I'm having a good day or I'm having a bad day. When I'm sad, you can really tell that she knows what's up. She knows that I'm sad, and she'll come and she'll try to cuddle with me. <laughs> so she's very smart. Dogs are very smart dogs. They're very smart pets. And especially if you train them well, then they'll always be loyal to you. They'll, they'll be well-behaved. You can take them to parks. And you can take them on trips, so it's really good to train your puppies and your, your dogs and animals. We don't. We don't train ours? No, because I never get, like, somewhere where they're, like, number the little A, but if I go across, the puppies go on it, then go down it. Oh. Maybe Penny hasn't been to one of those places. Cause she's Penny, potty trained. Because Penny would bark at. Yeah, she likes barking a lot. Yeah. Well, we hope that if you guys have pets, that your I pets listen them. to you and they make you happy. Pets are really great to have. They're great companions. We appreciate you hanging out with us this evening and listening to our book. Hopefully you'll join in tomorrow and, for our next story. And KB, what's that KB? <laughs> <laughs> we hope you have a great night, sweet dreams. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, share. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we have a brand new story. And good night. Yeah. Bye. 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 I'll see you soon.